for you to say you didn't know how many points you had in that game. Unbelievable. But you do a great job. You've done a good job, I should say. Coach, you always a good job. Pearl, tell us what you think you helped build here as college basketball comes back to the garden. Well, to me, Madison Square Garden is the mecca of basketball. It really is. If you don't play Madison Square Garden, you, you ain't playing the place. I mean, this place here was was great for me. And um, John Thompson is not here, is he? Not that I know. Okay. My best, greatest memory was punching Patrick and went inside. <laughs> when he, he, it looked like he fell, but he didn't fall. But that was my greatest moment, um, along with playing at the Carry Dome too also. But I always came to Madison Square Garden and put on a show. And that's really what it was about, making people happy to see me play. And Syracuse played too also. If you could tell these kids who are going to play here in the garden something, what would you tell them? Well, make sure you do what you have to do in school, which is the most important thing, too, also. Uh, hmm. But what's important is to make sure that you do what you have to do with basketball. Listen to your coach. Uh, make sure you do what you have to do. Uh, if there's a possibility, you have a chance to get to that next level, which is playing in the NBA. Uh, I was fortunate to be able to have that choice. And um, for me, I never planned on leaving after three years or two years. I wasn't going to stay in school for all four years. But somehow it was a deal made where I was going to go to New Jersey Nets and it was home for me and I took that. So I asked, and I didn't know uh, that Derek Coleman was coming to Syracuse. So I asked Derek, Derek, how come you never called me and told me that you was coming to Syracuse? He said, Pearl, when I came to the school, you was never around. Okay, Derek, thank you. <laughs> because I would have stayed in school. Really? Of course I would have stayed in school. My plans was to leave after my junior year. My plans was to stay in school and possibly have one more year to get to a championship at NCAA. It is a short list of players who've played for St. John's and have been on the cover of Sports Illustrated.